Hey God, it's me, Beth. Oh, hey kids, you're here. PB here or Pastor Beth, and I'm ready to have church with you guys. You know, it's a little bit before church, no one is really here, and one of the things that I love to do is to pray. I love to talk to God about the day. And we're, in the, we're right in the middle of a series called, Hey God, and it's all about prayer. Have you had, ever had any questions about prayer? What, what is prayer? How do we do it? How, what is it all about? Is there something special that I have to do? I can, can I talk to him in the boat, in the car, on the bus, in the church, at my home? Where, where can I pray and how do I do it? You know, I pray in all different ways. Sometimes I like to talk to God by journaling, writing in my journal and saying what I need to say to him. Sometimes I use my words and sometimes I'm silent and it's just in my thoughts. You know what? There's no right or wrong way to talk to God. But you know what? We can even start with a, hey God, hey God. He's right there, he's listening. How do you like to talk to God? I'd love to hear. Well, let's, let's do this, guys. Let's jump in to our Bible story for today. Welcome to Trick Shots. The double bounce back shot. Yeah! <laughs> this is the backwards foul shot. This is the double table shot. <laughs> Half court Pringle shot. This is the B-Ball Swisher. <laughs> this is rooftop magic! Jesus wanted to show his disciples that they should always pray and never give up. He told them a story about a judge who didn't have any respect for God and he didn't care about what people thought. He just kind of did whatever he wanted. A widow who lived in town came to the judge asking for help. She came over and over and over, begging the judge to make things right for her. She was being treated badly and felt that the judge was the only one who could help her. For a while, he wouldn't help her, but the poor widow kept coming back and back again. Finally, he said to himself, I don't care about what God thinks, and I definitely don't care about what people think. But because this widow keeps bothering me, I'm going to make sure that she gets justice. So he decided to make things right for her. Honestly, he did it because he was scared of what would happen if he didn't help her. He thought that she would come and attack him or something. But Jesus told us to listen to what the judge said. See, the judge helped the widow even though he didn't care about God and he didn't care about people. But our God, he cares about us and he hears us every time we pray to him. And because God cares about us, when we pray to him in any way, even if we're begging like the widow, God will step in and take care of what we're talking to him about. And Jesus promises that he'll do it quickly. I can talk to God in any way. Say the phrase five times fast.
Did you know that you can talk to God in any way? It's legit, like actually any way. You could hit God up with a rhyme, like, hey God, thanks for my oatmeal. You're the best, for real. You can also talk to God in complete silence. I know it sounds crazy, right? But it's actually true. God can hear your innermost thoughts. So you don't even have to say a word and he already knows what you need. You can talk to God when you're in the middle of a crowded space, like the busy lunchroom or your little brother's soccer game. You can talk to God with your friends. In fact, the Bible tells us that when two or more people are praying together, he's right there with them also. So simply just grab a friend and just tell God what you've got going on. You can talk to him alone in your room when no one else is around. And the Bible actually encourages that too. You can even talk to God with your eyes closed or wide open. You can bow your head or you can look up to him because you know he is watching you over and over. You can whisper or you can shout it as loud as your lungs will let you. Shouting not your thing, no worries. You could sit down with a journal and your best pen and write your most heartfelt prayers. Or my personal favorite, you can talk to God by dancing and singing like this. God, you're so good. I know, I'm not a very good singer, but that's my favorite. You heard that right. When you're singing what's on your heart, God is listening to that too. No matter which way you choose to talk to God, what matters most is that you just keep doing it. Let's get it started. Time to move around. Let's have a party. Move to the left, move to the right. Feel the beat and hang on tight. Move to the left, move to the right. Feel the beat and hang on tight. Now stop and clap it out. Now stop and stomp it out. Now stop and bounce it out. Now stop and shout it out. Get up, jump up, turn up and dance Gonna praise you, Jesus, with all that I am Get up, jump up, turn up and dance Gonna praise you, Jesus, with all that I am Come on, get up, let's get it started Time to move around, let's have a party Move to the left, move to the right, feel the beat and hang on tight. Move to the left, move to the right, feel the beat and hang on tight. Now stop and clap it out. Now stop and stomp it out. Now stop and bounce it out. Now stop and shout it out. Yeah. Jesus loved to tell stories, or as the Bible calls them, parables. Jesus told this next story to some people who felt pretty good about themselves. They were confident that they were all good in God's eyes. Jesus wanted to bring some things to their attention. He knew that these guys looked down on everyone else. So he started by saying, two men went up to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee. That's a religious leader who thinks they love God more than everybody else does. The other man who went to pray was a tax collector. He took money from other people to give to the king. Everybody hated tax collectors. Jesus explained that the Pharisees stood in one place where everyone could see him and he prayed, Oh God, I thank you that I'm not like other people. The Pharisee even went as far as to name off other people he thought were not as good as him. 
He even mentioned the tax collector and told God that he wasn't as good as him too. The Pharisee reminded God of a lot of things that he was doing right, like fasting regularly and giving a lot of his money. But the story didn't end with the Pharisee. Jesus told the story of what the tax collector was praying. See, the tax collector was praying far away from all the action, and he wouldn't even look up to heaven because he knew all the wrong things that he had done. The tax collector prayed, God, have mercy on me. I am a sinner. See, Jesus wanted people to understand that God heard both prayers. But the tax collector's prayer pleased God, not the Pharisee's prayer. When we pray, we can talk to God in absolutely any way, but we just need to remember that prayer is not about making a big deal of ourselves, but making a big deal of how awesome God is and how much we need Him. One way to pray is to remember the letters in the word, pray. P, praise. Praise God by telling Him how awesome He is and thank Him for different things in your life. R, repent. That's a fancy word for saying you're sorry. It's telling God you're gonna stop doing the wrong thing and start doing what He says is right. A, ask. Ask God for whatever you want and need. Why? Yes. Say yes to whatever God says is best, even if it's not what you want. I've been wondering, can I really talk to God anywhere? If I stand or I sit or I kneel on the ground, can you hear me now? If I walk in the park or I dance with a clown, can you hear me now? If I'm up in a tree, getting stung by a bee, yikes! Can you hear me yell? In the quiet of the night or the broad daylight, can you hear me now? If I'm upside down or spinning all around, can you hear me now? If there's a spider on my knee or I'm watching TV, wait, did someone say spider? Can you hear me now? I want to know, what can I say that you won't hear me? God, is there anywhere I can be where you aren't near? Everywhere? Really? Huh. Well, I guess that answers that. If I stand or I sit or I kneel on the ground, you can hear me now. If I walk in the park or dance with a clown, you can hear me now. If I'm up in a tree, you're getting stung by me. Owie! You're for sure gonna hear me now. In the quiet of the night or the broad daylight, you can hear me now. If I'm upside down or spinning all around, you can hear me now. The spider on my knee or I'm watching TV, you can hear me now. <laughs> Guess the prayer. God, thank you for my dog. Hey God, I'm sorry for getting angry with my teacher. God, my grandpa is sick. Please help his doctor make him feel better. I can talk to God in any way. Wow! People all over the world know that they can pray in any way. Yere, thank you that you may live. Marigi, anelengal sobe, anelengal sobe bainjingal. Dieu, merci pour 
ton amour envers moi. Olá, Deus. Obrigado por me armar. Baba Zapa, singi la mingi tenetin joni timo na ya finiti. Oh, mudi muaka, ki alivora honda tarara. Oh, mudi muge la bokhala le rato la kaho. Good, thank for the advice, Kamei. Devane ni re ne ne sekre dinalo maka nandri. Kamen chua bira yo ka. Bao, ya bulela. Hey God, thank you for loving me. Amen. I can pray when I'm mad, when I'm worried, when I'm sad. I can pray anytime. Day or night will be just fine When I do, I close my eyes Picture Jesus in my mind I can't ask for what I need I can trust He's listening I won't worry about a thing I can tell my God, tell Him Trust he's listening Here's what you need to know. I can talk to God in any way.